Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. It's all about racing. My name is Mark and today we're going to take a look at a Spark 143 scale Porsche 911 GT3R that of the number 33 car of Falcon Motorsports which competed in the 24 hours of Nürburgring in 2021. This car is a sealed resin model. It comes attached to this black painted wooden base and is adorned with an acrylic jewel box. And generally these cars boxes reflect the race that that particular car and livery participated in. This one being the 24 hours of the Nürburgring. Now the sides of the box are open so you can observe the front as well as the rear. The back of the box shows the country of Germany along with the national colors and the 24 hours of the Nürburgring. Now typically with my reviews, I try to give you a little bit of historical context into the car, the nature of the team, the drivers, so forth and so on, and that's exactly what I will be doing here. Now the Porsche 911 GT3R was introduced in May of 2018 and was available for customer teams such as Falcon Motorsports in 2019. It featured a 4.4-liter flat-six boxer rear-mounted engine, God, I'm getting stuck on this, which produced about 543 horsepower. Now the car featured a lot of improvements over the previous one, including the most important one, particularly for the driver's air conditioning, which were, which were rare in most of these cars at that time. Now, the sponsor of the team was the Falcon Tire Company. This is a Japanese tire producer, which first launched in Japan in 1983 and 1988 in North America. Now, Falcon Motorsports started competing in the Nürburgring in 1999 and achieved its first podium in 2015. In 2017, the team built a second car, not this one, it was a BMW M6 GT3. It wasn't until 2020 that they switched back to Porsche and the number 33 car that you see right here was born, so to speak. It finished the 2021 Nürburgring in ninth place and its sister car, the first car, finished in fourth. Now being a spark car, this model is absolutely amazingly gorgeous. The blue and green livery that Falcon is famous for are, you know, I just think, are just amazing looking. I love it. You could always leave it like this, never change it for the next 20 years, and I'd still love it. I would never get sick of it. I can't say that of most of the liveries of other cars. I love the gold wheels that you have on it, and naturally they're adorned with Falcon tires, and Spark does a very good job of recreating that. The decals, the paint, the finish are very, very clean. On the front of it, you have the green dive planes on the number 44 car, the red. And I particularly like the Falcon logo, which is embossed under the grill in the front of the car. You've got a gorgeous carbon fiber splitter, headlights, and fog lights. And one of the things I also like about Spark cars is the fact that they list the drivers on the opposite side, since often they're very hard to read on the model itself. In this case, you have Klaus Backler, who is a Porsche works driver, a German. You have Dirk Warner, another German, a Porsche Works driver, and a Bathurst 12-hour winner. You have Thomas Preening from Austria, the 2023 DTM champion. And Lance David Arnold, a German, an FIA Silver Nordschleife specialist and German TV presenter. Eh, had a little bit of fame there. And you can also see the names of the drivers clearly across the top of the car, and they're very, very easy to read on this, and they're very, very clean. You have the air jack and the pull tab here nicely created. This is a very, very sensitive piece. If you have a car, any Porsche like this, do not touch this. You touch it and it's gone. You'll never find it again and you'll never attach it. I don't know how the hell they even do it. The interior of the car is very nicely done. Unfortunately, this one is mostly black, which makes it kind of hard to see. When the framework and all the roll bars and the cage are all black, it's very, very hard to see. But you can see the net. You can see the... Uh, the steering column, you can see some of the hoses uh, from the air conditioners on there. They did a really nice job with all the areas on the top of the car, which we'll look a little bit closer in just a second. Back of the car looks like this. And as I mentioned, this is a limited edition model. This was number 149 out of just 300 built. Folks, it's always nice to get a limited edition model anytime you buy a model car. And typically, most of the Spark cars, if they're not Le Mans 24 entries, are limited edition cars. And they usually reflect you know, the track that they, they raced in. The back of it's beautiful and blue. you got that massive 
rear wing that says Falcon on the top of it. And if you take a look in here, you can see some of the framework. Now, remember, this is a rear engine car, so the engine is is uh, basically disguised beneath the, the engine cover, which you actually have right here, so you can't see it. Now, if you take a look at the car from the top down, you see Falcon on the big wide hips on this thing. Remus number 33. I love how the... Uh, how the top of the car looks with the number 33 and you have the livery uh, adorning it. Very, very sharp. Very, very cool looking car, I think. So folks, that wraps up this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. What do you think of this car? Let me know in the comments section. And if you really enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please do. I release videos virtually every other day and with new cars at least once a week. And this is actually a new car to me. Thanks for watching. Take care.